Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Halls of Torment. So yeah, in the last video we played as the Swordsman. Today we're going to be playing as the Archer. Uh, last time we completed a few quests. You know, unlocked some new stuff. Uh, received some gold. Unlocked stage ember grounds. Unlocked items Necromancer's Clutch. Uh... So yeah, and got some upgrades as well. So yep, yeah, today we're going to be... Well, you know what? Let's try out the Ember Grounds. See how this goes. Waiting for this to load. Ooh. This place looks really cool. So yeah, Archer obviously shoots out the arrows. Um, not sure, not sure how I feel about it, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll go for right for right now. I think we're gonna go for more pickup range, and then we're gonna try to go this way, and then see if we can go up. I know we're kind of going away from the majority of the enemies where we would more than likely get... We're going to... I mean, we would most likely get... We would, we would get more experience if we went towards where there's going to be groups of enemies because then, you know, obviously with the piercing and stuff of the arrows... Then more enemies are going to die, which means more experience. But, there is an upgrade over here. And this is what I want to get. And then, after we get this upgrade over here, I want to try to go up and get that upgrade up there, or whatever that is. I'm not too sure. I'm assuming it's an upgrade, but I could be mistaken. We'll see what that is. Go for increased uh, attack speed, because that's going to be good for... Not just the main attack, but also um, also abilities. See if we can hit that fire thing. We didn't, but that's fine. Hit that thing. Hit that thing. Hit that thing. Hit that thing. Okay, that's fine. Turning off auto aim might be a good idea. Okay, so obviously, <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention, but it appears that I went past the upgrade. Oopsies. <laughs> See, that's why it pays off to pay attention. <laughs> okay, and now there's a big boy. Throws alternating blades left and right, like boomerangs. They pass you and fly off screen. Let's try to increase the frequency. Sure, let's try the ring blades. I'm not sure what... Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, and then they come back. Okay, okay. I'm really not doing much damage to this guy. Which does have me a little concerned, especially with how close he's getting to me. Jeez, okay. What am I supposed to do against a guy that moves a lot faster than me? I honestly am not sure. Other than I guess try to dodge him, but jeez. Like, he does so much damage. What'd that do? Oh, that's a magnet. Ah, okay. Very nice, very nice. Increase my damage. You know what? Yeah, let's increase my movement speed. Be 
because usually, oh my gosh. Dang, okay, okay, this might be, maybe, maybe Ember Rounds is not a good place to start with with the archer. Let's go back to the Haunted Caverns. Haunted Caverns, I think we have a, probably a better chance at survival. I don't think we're quite ready for, um, I don't think we're quite ready for, uh, the Ember Grounds yet. So we'll stick with the place where we're ready. So that's the magnet up there. Okay. So let's go for the upgrade, which is down there. Start with that for now. Increase our pickup range. Just increases the chance of, you know, actually being able to pick up any of the experience and stuff that's going to drop. While we're kind of making our way to the, uh, to the upgrade down here. Okay, increase our damage. We'll see how this goes. Um, hoping for the best. The archer is definitely an interesting one because it doesn't have that like cone attack, but it seems like the arrows go further than the mate than the swordsman's like cone attack. So the cone would normally be able to hit more enemies. Because it obviously, like I said, it's a cone shape. So it's going to be able to hit more enemies because it hits within that cone. Whereas the arrows, it, it, each, it, each one is projectile that would have to hit. Rather than it be like a sweep attack, it's a three arrows that each would have to land and hit. But, it, but at the same time, it does... Um, or the angle. See, this, see, area increases the effect or the angle of an attack cone. See, that, I'm not sure how good that's going to be for the archer. Because if that increases the angle, that means that it makes the arrows go out further but I don't think that increases like the projectile size or maybe it does because there was there is that upgrade at the at the uh, main blobby area that says area slash projectile size so maybe actually maybe area does increase the projectile size Yeah, when you get here, then a little boss thing spawns. But. Definitely much easier to deal with than that dragon that kept on flying towards me. Or not even flying towards me, just circling around me, basically. So yeah, that was much easier to deal with. Okay, multi-strike. 
Uh, only affects a character's standard attack and center effects. Or pets, it does not apply to items and abilities. Okay. So, multi strike. I assume makes it so that you you can attack you, that there's a chance of attacking multiple times, which is cool. So we'll go with that. So like you'll shoot like three arrows basically twice. See, the thing is, though, the main difference with the archer is that it, since, since it's three projectiles that's being shot, if the enemy is close enough to you, it'll get hit three times. See, multi-strike increases fire rate. I'll give myself more crit chance. Go for more attack. Attack speed for the ability, sure. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go for more movement speed. You know, I don't really like the increase, anything that increases the range for the astronomer's orbs. main reason being that it means that there's more distance that it has to travel in a circle. So I definitely would say or area if area does increase the projectile size then area is definitely the better upgrade over something like range uh Base crit bonus. Normal crit bonus bonus. Okay. So increase the base damage of critical hits. And we'll go with that. Oh yeah, this guy. Gotta love him. So, so annoying. Yeah, we'll increase the damage of it. We also got like a, f a free magnet, which is really nice. Base crit chance. Uh. 
Okay, the one thing I don't really like is how long it takes for experience and stuff to get pulled in. Because it seems like it takes quite a while for it to pull in all of that experience. Which isn't really what you want. You're obviously going to prefer it to be more instantaneous than that. Summon skeletons that, attacks, that attack enemies. I am 100% going with that. Look at my skeleton go! Does he... take damage? Or do they just... I guess they just go around dealing damage. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna... be upset about it. I'm gonna increase my attack range, or my pickup range. Not attack range. Yeah, it seems like they might disappear over time. Like maybe after they've... Maybe that's what it was saying was... Yeah, basic skeletons last for 30 seconds. Have a base attack of 50. Lance skeletons have haste. Okay. The mage skeletons last for 30 seconds. Our rating should have haste. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, those land skeletons they put in work. Definitely feels like that area upgrade is for sure increasing um, for sure increasing the size of the projectile. It really does seem like um, the orbs are getting bigger. Speed. That is good for everything. I don't think attack speed really affects the orbs. I could be wrong, but I don't think it does. But attack speed is still going to be good for just, you know, main attack. Oh, I turned off auto attack. Oops. Accidentally hit right click. Um. We'll increase my crit bonus. Because again, range is not really what I care about that much.
Do I want more movement speed? Probably, actually. The only reason why I'm kind of going for movement speed is just for the sake of getting to, like, the magnet at the top. Because it's not, it doesn't really provide me with any other, like, utility other than getting to, like, I mean, it kind of does, like, for, like, avoiding enemies and being, like I said earlier, it's, like, it kind of helps with, like, circling around enemies, but, eh. <laughs> Is it really gonna, is it gonna allow you to survive a bit longer? Yes. Does that, but does movement speed really matter if enemies really start grouping up on you? Not really. <laughs> if you start getting tons and tons of enemies, then eventually movement speed isn't really to matter all that much. Especially with this, because obviously enemies are coming from like the outskirts and then moving in. So if you just get a ton of enemies all moving in unison, then you're screwed. No matter how high your movement speed is, you're going to get... Increase my attack speed again. Okay, that guy is almost dead, he's dead. The needles disappear, deals magical magic damage in an area, damage increases for each remaining vision. Count multiplied by damage. Oh, no. I actually feel like that's gonna be pretty good. It deals area damage, which is always a good thing. Area damage is always gonna be good. Well, not always going to be good. Area damage doesn't really matter against, you know, bigger, bigger enemies. But, like I said, I believe in the last video. I don't know, so I, things just kind of get jumped together. But I said this before, where you're more than likely going to die to hordes of enemies, rather than big enemies. Especially in games like this. Because games like this where it's more of like an open... I'm not sure if there are borders. But even if there are borders, there's so much room for you to move throughout. That... The, um... It doesn't really matter that much. Uh... So, so you're more than likely going to end up, so, so with big guys you can kind of escape them, whereas with hordes of enemies it's much harder to escape and just run away. It's hard to run away from hordes when they're constantly spawning all around you at all times. Whereas with like a big guy there's more than likely only going to be one that is going to be chasing after you that might do an attack like that where it's like a ring or you know a straight line or whatever but it's much easier to dodge one guy trying to attack you rather than freaking hundreds of guys trying to attack
sure. Are there are there games out there where that one guy's attack could be something extremely crazy that spawns a bunch of projectiles? Any or er, bunch of attacks or whatever? Yeah. My point is though, anything a hundred guys trying to attack you means a hundred different attacks. Whereas one guy, sure, he might have an attack that spawns multiple attacks that are trying to hit you. But I highly doubt that one guy is going to spawn a hundred attacks to try to attack. Depending on the game, of course. If you have games, a game like Terraria, for example, then you're gonna have, you know, there's there's a lot of bosses and there's a lot of potential for that kind of stuff, where bosses can be crazy, especially if you're playing, you know, something modded, but or maybe like I don't know, like Elden Ring. You know, just, you know, there's, there definitely are games out there where the boss can be crazy. But today we're focused on this game. And in this game, there's not bosses like that. <laughs> At least not this early on. So, it's much easier to dodge that one, or not, not even a boss, but like, like elite unit or big guy. I'll just say big guy, elite guy, whatever you want to call him. Um, it's, much, it's gonna be much easier to obviously dodge that big guy than a h hundreds of little guys. So, again, I'm not denying that there's games out there where it's gonna be very hard to dodge big guys as well, but in this game specifically, Big guys are a little bit easier to dodge than the hordes and hordes of little guys. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. I don't know how I'm still alive. Ah. It's fine. It's fine. Completed a bunch of quests from that. Got a good amount of money. Um, Um, wow, we actually did quite a lot of damage with the Phantom Needles. I'm very surprised. Defeat the Lich. Okay. The only thing that I'm not too fond of is... The lack of, I mean, I mean, there's, they, okay, I, I should, I should hold my tongue because there's not, because this is obviously like a fairly newer game. So obviously having, not having much content is, if, if it's a newer game, obviously there's going to be kind of a lack of content. So I shouldn't really be like, oh, there's, there's not much content. So, I mean, obviously there's not going to be. 
So, area and range. Crit chance of multi strike. Well, we didn't unlock a new character. We'd have to defeat the Lich for that. Um, but I I do like this like oh, and there's even okay. I do like this though. I really like this. How uh, there's different like upgrade or different different quests for each area for each thing um how this one mainly focuses on yeah that mainly focuses on the archer swift as an arrow makes sense I'm assuming that you probably unlock new quest lines as you unlock new characters. If I had to guess, I, I like that. I like that. That's actually that's pretty cool. Shrine of Blessings. See now the Shrine of Blessings I do like. Oh, attack speed. Oh. I don't... I don't think that was there before. Definitely not, because there's even a health capacity as well here. That was not there before. Or maybe... Or, or health regeneration might be what I'm thinking of. One of, I, I think it was health regeneration that wasn't there before, not not the health capacity. Yeah. Very cool. So you even start unlocking new new um Yeah, so you even unlock new blessings for blessing of strength. Is that or I I, I don't know. Wh whatever you, you but you get what I mean. Like you you start unlocking new blessings and stuff like that. That is very cool. I like that. I I I like that a lot. Yeah. Unlocks. Oh wait, I already got that. Oh yeah, blessing health regeneration. Yeah. Wait, so does... Wait, so... Blessing Strength? What? Is it... Maybe that was just... Maybe that's just Attack Speed? Or something? Because it says Blessing Strength. But there's no... Blessing called Strength. So maybe that was just the Attack Speed or something? That was unlocked? Oh, wait, no. Attack speed. Near those health regeneration? Health regeneration. There. Blessing strength? I don't... There's no blessing called strength. Whatever, maybe maybe that's for like a different character or something. I I don't know. Well we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out in the future. But um but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Halls of Torment. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Me and the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And uh yeah. I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.